Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for July 26th through August 1st. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out those other placements. We're gonna, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody who watches. We're gonna get into your current energy, the near future, and then we'll take a peek into the next three to six months. After that, we'll clarify, clear that spread, get into your person's energy, whoever's on your mind, your energy, the possible outcome, the romance angels as well as the oracle cards so thank you to all of you that are returning i appreciate all of your support so so much thank you for your likes shares comments and subscribes if you are new here i hope you'll stay so the last thing is i do do personal readings if you'd like one of those the information is in the description box below all right so the first card that fell out for your current energy is the ace of cups Let's see what else we have for you. Then we have the Hierophant in reverse and the Sun in reverse. Now in the near future, we have the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. In the next three to six months, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Six of Wands. Now the overall energy for the reading is the Eight of Wands in reverse. So you may feel this week like things have slowed down a bit. There may be a lack of communication or a break in communication between yourself and the people closest to you. It could be in a relationship where things have just stopped completely and you may be curious as to why now all of a sudden the communication has either slowed down or stopped or things may not be moving as quickly as you had hoped at work. Let's see what's going on. So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Hierophant in reverse and then the Sun in reverse. The first feeling I get is that there has been a halt in possibly a new love situation. Something had gotten started. This could also be a recent or even something that had ended quite a bit of time ago. It, it just feels like there's some internal work that still needs to be done about what's gonna make you happy in your relationship. So if you're single and you just met somebody and things seem to slow down, it may be that that person's not really sure what they want. Or maybe you're asking yourself, is this something that I really want to explore? I'm not 100% sure. That's what it kind of feels like. Now, if this is someone from your past, it feels very much like communication has cut off. You may have decided that maybe there wasn't enough of a spiritual connection for the two of you. And that was why things really didn't get off the ground. Maybe the two of you just didn't see things I, like the same, the same way. It could be that you have different upbringings or maybe you have different perspectives on relationships. It could very well be that somebody wanted a higher level of commitment. In other words, somebody was ready for marriage. You may not have been or vice versa. Now, if you're in a current relationship, this is revisiting that as well. You may have learned some things about yourself in just the, the last couple of weeks even and had some realizations about what it means for you to be in a relationship, what it means to feel fully fulfilled. I know that sounds kind of like an oxymoron, but really it's about fulfillment with the sun card. That's true happiness. And if you're not finding it, I think you're willing to take a step, step back maybe a need to cut communication and go within a little bit just to make sure that you know you're really making an effort with another person to be clear about your expectations what theirs are and how that comes together all right we will clarify that so in the near future we have the page of wands the six of swords in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse now again, I always say this in my reading, so if you're new with me, I don't ever suggest anybody wait for someone from the past. This does feel like you wanted a new beginning. You're very passionate about starting fresh maybe in your life and you've already moved away from things that were difficult and found yourself in a much calmer, more peaceful place. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it could have been that you wanted to figure things out for yourself. like find your stability within before pursuing something and your passions could be just focused on that now 
Is there somebody that could be still watching you that still has a desire for you? Absolutely. And it could be that this person is now seeing that you have cut off communication or are not pursuing in a current relationship. So there's very possibly someone around you that sees this and sees that you've moved away from a previous uh, relationship and now wants to pursue you. They may come forward in the near future, maybe in the next, say, week to two weeks and let you know that they've been watching you or that they have these feelings that they hadn't been able to express to you before, maybe because you were already taken. So if you're single, there is definitely someone around you, an energy around you that seems to want to let you know, you know, they, they didn't want to make moves before, but now they feel like you might be in a place where you're open to it. All right, so in the next three to six months, we have the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, and the Six of Wands. These are two amazing cards. Both, to me, are about finding that right partner, having clarity about what it is, like I said, that you want, that's truly going to be fulfilling for you in a relationship. The Nine of Cups in Reverse just tells me there might have been enough situations where there wasn't clarity and or victory in a relationship and you've paid attention to that so you now know what isn't going to be fulfilling to you and moving forward you'll be successful could be in the next three to six months now if this is a relationship that you're currently in this is that clarity that needs to be had so let's say someone wants to get married and you don't this could be giving that person that clarity and say look i see you as a potential partner that crown to me is the king and queen or it could be the same sex it doesn't matter it's just energy yes i want a relationship and yes i would like to move forward but my expectations are a little bit different maybe than yours are what makes me happy may not be the same thing that makes you happy so i do feel like somebody needs to express that around what type of relationship in order for things to move forward now, if this is somebody from the past that decides they want to come back, they may come back and tell you, look, you're my match. I know what really makes you happy and why you were unhappy in this situation prior to, and I really want to find balance. I'd like to work this out. Let's see if we can move forward. Maybe we don't have to settle down into something so serious. Let's just talk about it and see if we can get on the same page. All right, so let's get some clarity on the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. Now, you could be dealing with a Leo. We have Leo Sag Aries, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and they, I just heard Virgo. So you could be dealing with Virgo energy. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is great. So where there may have been kind of a lack of emotional passion in a work situation things seem to be turning in your favor now the same goes in a relationship if you finally decided this is just not the one for me things are starting to shift in your current energy that's why this new energy is going to move towards you if you've been single for a bit and finally got clarity within sometimes clarity within is what helps us attract what it is that we're looking for now we have the Eight of Swords, where you may have felt stuck. Like I said, if something was going on at work that just wasn't making you happy anymore, you could have had difficulty with a boss. The Hierophant can be the higher up to me as well. You may have felt really stuck. And now all of a sudden something shifts and everything starts to seem to open up and things are moving forward. Where there wasn't a lot of clarity or movement in the past with the Eight of Wands in reverse, then now it starts to shift and you start feeling like you're coming out of a place of feeling stuck. Now, the lovers, it always comes out. And no matter how many times I shuffle this, it'll come out on the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely around a love situation as well. So where you completed what feels like a cycle or where you felt like you were stuck, you will no longer be feeling that way. Again, in a current relationship, if there was a split and the two of you needed a little bit of time apart, this is where things start to work themselves out. It's like it naturally just starts to fall into place. Now, if you don't want anything from the past, 
I understand. This could be a current relationship where things just felt like they weren't moving in the right direction and you weren't sure if the two of you were on the same page. In this case, I'd say that clarity is coming. You're starting to feel like things are going to move forward. All right, so let's check into what feels like a new beginning with the Page of Wands. So if you've closed out that old cycle and an old relationship, possibly even a marriage, and moved into a more peaceful place, you may be open to this energy. It could be you that wants to offer somebody else love. In this case, I'd say you want to take it slow. So you're kind of at that stage where you don't want to make moves that push things too quickly. You just kind of want to let somebody know that you're interested or they do you. So the Two of Swords in reverse just tells me that you actually have clarity about it. So you don't need to go back and forth too much. There isn't like a whole lot of overthinking. It's just kind of a go with the flow type of feeling. Now we have the Queen of Swords, which is great because that energy tells me that you're going to be very clear about how you feel. If somebody approaches you, you're the same as if you were to approach them. Again, male or female doesn't matter. It's very much about clarity. Now, the King of Cups in reverse, this is not wanting to open up too much emotionally. Maybe you want to th keep things kind of on the let's get to know each other, let's not get too deep type of place. The person that is coming towards you could feel the same way. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're emotionally manipulative or unavailable. It could it feels more like I'm going to say in this particular reading that they're just kind of holding back. So they don't lay all their cards on the table all at once. If you are dealing with somebody from the past that decides that they'd like to try again, this might be a little bit of a caution of are they actually emotionally available or are you to them? All right, so let's look at the Ace of Swords with the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is for Libra. So we have the hangman in reverse, which is good energy because that means you're coming out of that place of feeling stuck. Again, with the job situation, this is really having a clear idea of what, what you want moving forward. If there's been some shifts and changes at work or it's felt kind of stale, it's coming out of that. So in the next three to six months, things are going to shift and change. And then we have the hierophant in the upright, which is great energy you may end up meeting someone that you do feel like you want to have a higher level of commitment with. Now, the person that could be coming towards you that you don't know or aren't really aware of, that person could very much want to pursue a long-term relationship, something that ends up in marriage. This could just be comfortable in knowing that you connect on a spiritual level, and that's what it feels like. It does feel like a, a very deep spiritual connection. Now on the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So could there have been things obviously that were painful in the past? Yes. Are you willing to open up to release that energy and have a new start with the Ace of Swords being there? I'd say absolutely. Behind that, we have the Magician. So you've been working your way through getting over anything that was painful, releasing that energy, manifesting something brand new, which is what this feels like. It doesn't mean that it couldn't be with a current partner. You're just reviving the relationship with more clarity, having more understanding for what makes each other happy. And like I said, if you're open to the past, there's a possibility this person's been trying to manifest the changes that need to happen so that the two of you get on the same page. And they wanna get past that pain that they may have caused if they did cause you that. I know whoever this is has been losing sleep over it. So if you've been a little bit up in your head or concerned about what's going on, I'd say there's definitely victory moving forward. The Six of Wands tells me whatever you've been worried about or whatever was not feeling good to you is going to shift because your energy is shifting into manifest mode. So it's like you have the clarity. Now, you may not see it clearly right now. But again, the next three to six months is going to be pivotal in how this turns out, especially around work. It feels like it's going to shift in a way that makes you happy. In other words, money is going to start flowing. Things are going to turn in your favor. You could get a raise as well. You could be offered one in the current moment and you just haven't seen it. 
it's next week, next week to next two weeks, you could see that all of a sudden pop up and then in the next three to six months, you're finally feeling like that. You have a clear idea of how this is gonna move forward. You feel good about it. Uh, maybe you had been doing a lot of praying around finding that balance within your work situation so that you could be excited about moving forward, happy about the shifts and changes and the excitement around how much more money you could be making. It feels really good. The worry I feel is just a little bit of the overthinking. So you may have been worried about how this was going to turn out because you just couldn't see the future. So I do feel like you've got patience around this. You're coming out of a place of being stuck. All right, so let's clear this and we'll get into your person's energy, whoever's on your mind. So think about them for a second while I clear this. Okay, so this is for Libra. Their person's energy and their energy, please. This is for Libra. All right, so your person's energy. Right now, this person's really stressed out. The Ten of Wands with the strength in reverse. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo. We have the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, now for you, it's the Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot in reverse, and the Two of Cups. Now, the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. So if things come together as far as the main reading, I'll say so. But right now, we're just going to talk about this specific person that you were thinking about right now. They're super stressed out. I think for them, it's taking a lot of strength. They just don't have it anymore. <clears throat> they're in a lot of pain. So they're hurting. I don't know if they had put you in a third party. It could have been the other way around, not judging. But they seem to be very hurt, and it's really causing a lot of strife in their life. Now, the Five of Cups in reverse is wanting to get over the hurt and pain. So if the two of you are trying to work this out right now, it just feels like for them it's a huge burden. And they don't have the strength to put the effort into it. I feel like a part of them wants to heal from whatever painful scenario happened between the two of you. Now here, for you, the Five of Wands, you could feel like there's just nothing but arguing and fighting and maybe even a little bit of competition. Um, I sense more that there could have been a lot of back and forth and a misunderstanding. Like I had said in the main reading, maybe the two of you didn't have the same idea around what you wanted in a relationship. Now, you're looking at this as a, it has potential to move forward. Things can change and shift or you may just want the cycle to end. You may have feelings for them. Whatever it is, the, the cycle of this situation needs to end. The chariot card, you could be dealing with a cancer. It, right now, I don't think you want to move forward. So you have your mind on seeing eye to eye. Like I said, it's really about knowing the other person well and knowing that you both have the same expectations from a relationship. And I don't think you're going to move forward because... There just seems to be too much conflict, at least right now. Like I said, if you're in a current relationship, it, it's going to take time to work through whatever these things are. This person definitely is hurt. No doubt about it. All right. Let's get the Romance Angels and see what that has to say. And then we'll get the possible outcome for you. So we have Flirt. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, children, and then unrequited love. Then we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So you may very much feel like this is a true deep soul connection. It seemed very spiritual in the main spread. Now flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. You could be in a place where you're just not sure. So you may be open to that. Your nature is to be charismatic and flirtatious naturally male or female but there may come a time where you need to have this conversation so honestly discuss your feelings with each other just be straightforward regardless of what it is both of you need to be very clear about how you feel children your love life is being affected by children um if this was a marriage and something went awry you divorced this person 
Um, there's thoughts about just having things be balanced. That's where I feel like children could come in. You may have already closed the cycle out with that person, but are curious about how they're feeling. That's only for a few people. It could be that you have children together and that had made things, you know, obviously it's difficult when you split and you have children. Now, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You'd have to answer that question. I, I can't speak for you guys. If one or the both of you doesn't have enough love for the other, it could feel like, you know, that's the reason why things were starting to fall apart or there was just a lot of arguing. Again, not really seeing eye to eye on where this was going or how it was going to continue if you were married. Now, let's see what the outcome is. Sorry, that's kind of loud. What is the outcome for Libra and their person? So we have two of wands, the star card in reverse, the seven of wands, and then the nine of pentacles, and the eight of cups in reverse. So. It definitely feels like somebody's already walked away from this relationship. They're, like I said, somebody cut off communication. It feels like there's possibilities in the future. Doesn't mean it absolutely has to happen. There's some healing around this relationship that has to happen prior to. You could have thought this was it. This was the sun, moon, and stars, and this was your wish fulfillment. And now, right now, it just feels like it's not there. There does seem to be quite a bit of needing to defend your position. Both of you could feel that way. And both, I feel like, are trying to find themselves outside, I say themselves, yourselves, outside of the relationship. The Nine of Pentacles is a very stable, independent energy. So both of you could be that way. And finding that balance is what's going to be important in order to work things out. So I just feel like right now everybody's too much on the defense and wanting to focus on their independence before moving forward. All right, let's get the lover's oracle for you and then we'll close it out with the wisdom of the oracle. This is for Libra. Okay. We have... Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That's... All right. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. I love that because you really do, in this case, have to be true to yourself. If you feel a certain way about relationships, then you feel that way. You don't owe anybody else an explanation. All right. Now, let's close this out with some... Messages from Spirit. This is for Libra. So we have Loyal Heart, Go the Distance, Unfinished Symphony, and Orphaned. And then we have Community. So you, you may be somebody who is much more about everybody being involved. In other words, you like family and friends and you like everybody to be together. That could have been a conflict for the two of you. Or you're just someone who likes to get yourself out there and be involved. Now, loyal heart, I think you do have a loyal heart. Whether this is your person or not, there's a little bit of conflicted energy as to whether the two of you are truly in it together and on the same page. I do see the crowns. I think it's possible. Um, again, this is for two people to make that decision. Now, go the distance. Are you open and willing to go the long haul with them? This does reduce to 11. This could be a twin flame. It could also be just a deep soul connection that you feel with this person. An unfinished symphony. So if it needs to be refreshed and things need to be talked about, there's a possibility for a new beginning. If you don't want that, I understand. You could just want to close this cycle out and move on and start fresh. Now, orphaned, when we see this card, it could be feeling left out in the cold like the Five of Pentacles. Whether it's that person or you, somebody could have some issues around that feeling like that they're always left out or they had issues growing up. Something of that sort made somebody feel like others didn't care or 
you know, you, I mean, we know what orphaned is. So unfortunately, that can be about shifts and changes that need to be made in order within, not, it's not up to somebody else to fix that for someone. Those need to be the energies healed in order for things to work out. Okay, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for being with me till the end. Again, thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I do do personals. That's in the description box. I hope you guys have a beautiful week, and I'll see you in the next reading. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.